Today's video, I'm going to break down the way that I run the 4-3 even 6-1 blitz. I think this is the best blitz in MUT. If you're in regs or CFM, and I am showing it in regs, I would say that it's, it. I would say dollar is still a little bit better. One of the things that makes this really good for MUT specifically is that in MUT, you have a threat detector and identifier. And the cool part about threat detector or about 4-3 even 6-1 is threat detector will not tell them if you are blitzing because they are linebackers. If you were blitzing and they were slot corners, then it would communicate that to them. But because we're in 4-3 formation, it does not communicate that. So it's, it's really good for disguising what you're trying to do, okay? Uh, that's the biggest reason why I like this defense. And then, the uh, again, it's just, it's just an ultimate disguise defense. So coaching adjustments. I run this with auto flip off. Now, a lot of people run this with auto flip on, but I actually really like what I'm going to show you today in terms of how the blitz works. It, it adds a layer of consistency to the defense that I don't think a lot of people have. And then auto alignment is going to be on base. Option defense is going to be on conservative. And then our zone drops. I pretty much put everything here on default. And then if I was to set zone drops, I would put my curl flats on 20 because I'm not really using curl flats as underneath defenders. So you can easily put these on 20, okay? So we're going to come out in cover four quarters, and it's a really simple defense. All you're going to do, so you see here, this is what the defense looks like, right? So all you're going to do is you're going to globally blitz your linebackers, and then you're going to stand basically right here. From there, the blitz is pretty much set up, and what you'll see is you'll, you'll get a mixture of this edge pressure, and you will get A-gap pressure. Now, the reason we're not getting A-gap pressure in in this mode is because of the fact that they are a little slow. So the faster they're going to, there you see, we get a B gap. The faster the players are, the more likely that the gap pressures are going to be a reality for you. So what that also kind of practically means is you want the fastest defense alignment that you can get. If you get the fastest defense alignment you can get, this defense is going to absolutely scream. Now I wanted to talk about the kind of coverage behind it and five man versus six man. So the base five man defense, I like to show blitz. The reason I like to show blitz is it brings these safeties down in the box really well. And it uh, puts this guy right over the receiver, which I think is helpful. Okay. So we're going to show blitz. We're going to global blitz our linebackers. And then we're going to basically adjust from there. Right? So this is pretty much the base, the base defense. And then from there, we're going to make our adjustments. Now, I want to show the blitz one more time, and then we'll talk a little bit about what, what you got uh, behind it. So, as you see, we get the B gap. It will come in a little cleaner in MUT just because they're faster. But let's say they block a running back. If you block a running back on this blitz, a lot of times it's going to still come off the opposite edge of the running back. So, that's the beauty of sending six. Now, the other thing I wanted to say real quick is you can send five. So, let's say... Um, Let's say, for example, that we are going to set up a coverage defense that looks kind of something like this, okay? This would be something that I would easily love to run. What I like to do with this here is you'll see this five-man a lot of times screams. As you see, super fast pressure off the left. So that's the five-man version of the blitz, and I think it's probably – it's not the best version. The six-man is really good in MUT specifically because you get a lot more gaps, but it is good. Another thing you can do is you can contain and then basically re-blitz your linebackers. And I'll show you how to do that. But basically what that's going to do is it's going to it's going to increase the likelihood of your potential A-gap. And it's also going to prevent the rollout. So what you would do is you would come out, you would contain, and then you would and then you would basically sh uh, put this guy in the hooker on the left, shade underneath. And then you would just blitz the left side guy. So you see this is what it looks like. And then if you need to, you can go ahead and blitz blitz this guy off the left side. But in general, as you see, you're going to get that five-man pressure if they send five out. Now, if they start blocking people, this is where I think 6-1 becomes really good because when they start to block people, a lot of people like to slide. They'll like slide protect, maybe ID. You know, they'll start doing stuff like that. If you send the six-man pressure at a slide protect, you get so many random B gaps and A gaps. It's crazy. So the, the, the pocket just basically folds uh, right, right around the quarterback. So that to me is one of the best reasons to really send six. And I think the best way to pick up the blitz is to block the tight end. But a lot of times if you block the tight end, as you see right there, you're going to get the pressure to come up the a gap. So you see kind of just the general like idea as to why this is such a good defense. Now, uh, another thing you could do 
is you could contain like this and then just globally re-blitz that guy on the on the left or globally re-blitz your linebackers and then zone this guy out. That would leave that defensive end in a contain, which would prevent the rollout. And as you see, you're going to get that fast uh, little pass rush on the left. And again, this will be a little bit better if you have faster players. If you're playing if you're playing an ultimate team specifically, I think that's where this defense is really best in regs and CFM. It's still really good, especially uh, as red zone defense, but it's just not, uh, the, the blitz doesn't come in as fast, but it's by far the fastest blitz in the game in ultimate team. So anyways, that's the six, one blitz. Wanted to drop that for you. Really simple defense. You can send five out of it. You can send four out of it. I like auto flip off and I like to stand kind of right in here because what we're trying to create is a lane for him to run through the a gap right there. I don't think the a gap works as best on the right side of the screen, which is why we run this with auto flip off because we do have the potential to get the a gap rush right there as you see. And if they step up, they're going to be stepping right up into pressure. Thanks for watching the video. To get the entire defensive ebook, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. 10 bucks will get you access to all of the offensive and defensive ebooks that we have in Madden 24. And so, great way to get better. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.